In the outskirts of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization has surfaced. And I fear what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Some say heroes aren't born. Heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, because our hero is just in the making. Bob, how is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake, our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now, if all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? <laughs> okay, bye now. Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events, although you no longer remember said events. Hmm. Stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. It would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. Now, first things first. Are you able to walk? Splendid. You seem to be fit as a fiddle. Now, I am more than a regular arm. Use me to punch through those boxes. Wait, how did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. What? Bob? You never told me she was gravity-defying. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I should have known. Try my other function on this swarm lock, the spin attack. The spin attack also functions as a triple jump while in the air. Oh, so you slapped around Dave and Steve. They were useless anyway. Alright, end of the road, you rascal. You can't get through here. Swing nodes, use your grappling beam to swing through the air. Bob? What do those things even do? She's getting away. You're forcing my hand here, kitten. Time to wake up our little friend. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> Get her! Ah, dang it, you imbecile. You complete Now's your chance, Kyla. Escape. Race for impact.
Hey, you're not... Who are you? This is Skylar. Whoa, you got a talking arm. That's neat. Greetings, feathery friend. Greetings, you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Mi isla es su isla. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Plux. But we have urgent matters to attend to. Skylar, if you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the Siphon. And oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The islanders always jam about that thing. It's some huge, ancient-looking thingamajig, right? That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take us there? I know these islands like the back of my wing. Let me show you the way. Now, I know felines don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to be swimming. So watch out for large bodies of water. Note to self, keep kitty cat out of water. young one. Now, would you kindly release me from this cage? If you don't have enough gems, there should be a few boxes nearby that are full of them. Oh, thank you, young one. And thank you, two plucks. Hey, don't sweat it, but what in the name of funk is going on? A terrible calamity has struck our island, and he calls himself the CRT. 
His greedy attempt to deconstruct the siphon broke it apart, and I can feel the life force of this moon seeping away. It's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses. As the CRT stole one of them, the other two returned to their original places of creation. On the highest point of the island. In the seed lost in time. And the stolen one is kept in a fortress of steel. He has imprisoned my people, the Loar, trying to extort us into revealing the Fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. And for the trouble, I will increase your health. So if you ever feel weak and beat down, remember to come and talk to me. That sure seems like a tall order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that, but it needs you now more than ever. What? Me? You know this island, so you must guide Skylar on her journey. I guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, Jelly Beans. Very good, my friends. And Skylar, let Clover Mountain be a trial of your courage. Best of luck to you both.